Right guys, welcome back to Red Dead Online. In this video, I'm going to be telling you the fastest way to earn money. There's a lot of different things you can do in Red Dead Online, but when you've played as much as I have, it starts to become more of a grind and less fun. If we take a look whilst I'm travelling to the next Stranger mission that I'm going to be doing, you'll see that there is no story mission on my map. And when we go into progress and story missions, I'm 75% through after doing six missions, which means there's two more missions to do, but there isn't one on my map, so I don't know how to trigger that yet. The only things I can do at this point is just the general stuff, like the Stranger Quest and everything like that. There's going to be a video I'm releasing soon on things to do in Red Dead Online, because I've played less than 24 hours of this, and it already seems as though it's drying up. I know it's only beta, a lot of you I've been reading on the internet that you're complaining the economy's terrible, like a lot of the stuff is really overpriced in terms of what you can do. But what you need to think is, it's Rockstar, the same company that made GTA Online, and doing GTA missions and stuff you get like $25,000, and there's like super yachts and like crazy jets and stuff, they cost like two and a half to some things I think even cost like six or seven million. So everything on these sort of games is going to be a grind. But the fastest way I've found in this game to uh, money is to do the story missions. And there's one thing that I need to tell you guys because I think a lot of you are going to be missing out on big, big money. And that is there's a big reward at the end of certain missions. I'm not going to say anything that will ruin the missions. But again, taking a look in the progress, the story missions, the medal doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter if you've got bronze, silver or gold. This mission here, more than one way to earn a buck. When you complete the mission, it should give you like an extra $45 or something like that. After me and Connor did it, we ended up with like an extra $50 altogether. And you're going to get a single reward from the mission. Like it pops up and tells you you got like $8. And then you're going to get like $40 extra. And it doesn't tell you that it gives you that money. Then in this mission, which is the final one until the characters say, we'll be in touch when we need you. And that's the part I'm up to, which is 75% through the story missions. At the end of this one, depending how well you've done, you get in between $150 and $250. It doesn't tell you that you're going to get that, and when you're playing as part of a posse, sometimes you're not going to get it, and that's what I'm going to explain in a second, because Rockstar, again, haven't explained stuff in depth. And after research from playing with my mates, I think I've figured out exactly how it works. So when I first started Red Dead Online, I was playing with Connor, and then a couple of our mates joined. Me and Connor together in the same posse from the very beginning, got up to this mission, more than one way to earn a buck. We completed this, then Connor went off to bed, I was still awake, so I carried on playing. I did the next mission, kill them each and every one, and at the end of it I got a $250 bonus. Like, that was how much I come out of the mission with, like $252. Then when we loaded up the game the next time, when Connor was online, there was a couple of our other mates as well. I'm the posse leader, like, I created the permanent posse, the persistent one, that cost me $200. So I did this mission, I had nothing to start with, finished the mission, had $250. So I told everyone that I play with, do you want to earn $250, we'll go do this mission. And because I'm the leader, I can just do it by replaying the mission. It doesn't quite work in that way, because we completed the mission, no one got $250. And we all thought that maybe you could replay the mission and keep earning the $250 over and over again. So what I did, because there was four of us that did the mission, me and Connor, like Connor was on this mission by himself in his own story kind of thing, I had already completed it because I did it by myself, but our other two mates, Luke and Ollie, they wasn't this far into their own story. So we got them to back out of our free roam session, to leave the posse, and to go do missions by themselves. They obviously couldn't do this one because they wasn't that far in, but Connor went out of the posse, went into his own free roam, did this mission by himself, because after doing it with us all together in a posse, seeing as I was the only one that was genuinely this far into the missions, nobody got the $250. Connor left and went and did this mission by himself and in his story after completing the mission you can still match make you don't have to do the mission by yourself I don't even think you can do it by yourself but doing it in his own free roam not a part of the posse he got the $250 reward so yeah you can help your friends and do the missions and stuff as part of their posse but if you want the full reward and this is by far the easiest way to earn money the fastest way to earn money you have to do these missions by yourself. And then, like, an extra fast way to earn money, reach rank 10, you get a treasure map. There's a guide to that already on the channel. And one of these missions also contains a treasure map, which I'm going to be doing some research and finding out properly. 
then I'll bring a guide for that as well. And also things that you can do in Red Dead Online because it seems quite dried up at the minute. I know it's only just come out, but it doesn't seem as though this portion of the beta has enough to do. So you can expect a lot more videos to come from me very, very soon. That is going to be the end of this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.